hi guys welcome back uh, so now we are going to see the next step in the next step we will initialize the application timers application timers are basically using RTC which is the real-time counter and uh, we have already seen the real-time counter is uh, basically uh, a module which uh, uh, is calculating the timing functions and all the stuff and uh, we have uh, seen it previously uh, if you don't know what's the application timer uh, please watch my application timer tutorial and uh, you will know what it is and uh, one thing to mention here is that the application timer uses RTC 0 instance so if uh, you are using the BLE and uh, you are initializing the RTC 0 instance then it will cause uh, troubles because the soft device is using RTC 0 so when uh, when you are using the BLE don't use RTC0 because it's being used by application timers and the soft device so you have to uh, initialize RTC1 uh, instance uh, now we are going to um, program the basics of the timer so let's start so I will just include include this file apptimers.h uh, app and uh, the next thing is we have to create a function for initialization of the timers so I'm just gonna create a function here let's call it step number two so I'm just gonna name it as a uh, timers in it so you can name it anything but uh, uh, this one is uh, really relevant to it so I'm just gonna name it as timers in it and uh, here I'm using this ret code underscore t variable instead of uh, just using unsigned 32 integer I recommend to uh, use this uh, uh, variable instead of uh, just unsigned uh, 32 now let's name the variable as a uh, error code so errcod is enough for the name and uh, let's call the function for application timers uh, initialization uh, we need uh, for initializing the application timers we call this function if you don't know what I'm doing here just watch my previous tutorial on application timers and uh, you will get to know what what's happening here okay so we have uh, finished and uh, that's the second step we need to initialize the application timers even though if uh, we are not using the any if, uh, even if we are not using any application timer we need to initialize them because the uh, soft device is uh, using them and uh, one last thing to mention here is that uh, we go into the SDK config.h file uh, open it uh, by right clicking on this and uh, then click on CMC's configuration wizard here if you go into the libraries and uh, in libraries make sure the application timers are enabled so uh, make sure it's enabled and uh, once it's enabled save it uh, if you're configuring your project from scratch then uh, maybe this is not enabled by default so you should check this uh, option out as well so watch my previous tutorial uh, for the further details on application timer uh, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.